I have changed all the belts. You can see the one there going up to the tape counter, which has picked up some of the black gooey uh, rubber from the old belts. So it's not. There was a problem trying to clean the the belt path from from the old terrible melted rubber. Um, right, whilst I've got access to the mechanism, I've cleaned the two heads, well, it's a three-headed deck, a uh, reed right head and a uh, reed head down there with uh, a little cotton bud um, with some isopropyl alcohol. You can see it's picked up a little bit of debris there. When I finish, I'll demagnetize it, demagnetize everything. Right, just demagnetizing the heads using this uh, demagnetizing wand. There we go. Approach the head, feel it, just move it away, the other head, move it away, there shouldn't be anything that's uh, magnetic in here. Okay. I've got is the or is, is the uh, fast forward, fast rewind uh, stalling, um, just not driving. What I've found is if I pull this front plate out to see the mechanism, um, and lo and behold, it is driving. Let's just have a, let's just close it, close it up, so you can see the. Put it on. And you can see the, the action there. That's working now. Tape counter's driving. Stop it. Rewind again, but it will, st will trip because there's no tape counter's not seeing any. I said tip counter's not driving so it will trip out. But they are both working with this front plate off. That's interesting. Um, if I open the front lid so I can get inside, see inside a bit better, you can see the see the roller that's operating. Let's have a look. So you can see the roller that's operating. Come on, let's see. The motor is held in place by three screws down the back there. One at the top. One at the left. And one on the right at the bottom. Like. Uh, Spotted to rotate the motor clockwise, and they should come out. all working at the moment. 